Just ten more days. Just ten more days. Just ten more days. <sighs> Hello everyone and welcome to GA21 of Vita. My name of course is Artemidge and today it's mail day. Now as I stated my recent workhorse airbrush did die on me. Just lots of use. Same time. And so I placed an order for one. So first thing came is my new airbrush. Badger Patriot 105. So get a look here, see what we're getting into. Now just for comparison's sake, this is my old one. The Awada um, Eclipse HPCS. Here is the Patriot 105. As you can see, very similar design. Now this caps on here to prevent the needle from being touched. Though I thought that the needle would be recessed like how this one is. I don't know if you can make that out, but there's prongs there. Yeah, you can see that. It keeps you from making contact with your project. There is an, another end piece to the Sotar that comes with it that does let you get the freedom you have with this. And I thought this one would have that kind of prong. I, I don't mind that it doesn't. I can work fine with it. Just a little unexpected. Trigger mechanism feels very similar to the Iwata. Minor adjustment will be necessary. The push down doesn't feel quite as responsive. Might just take some lube and some time. So that's the first thing that came. And I say first thing because I got an unexpected package today, right here. This is for a Kickstarter I back some time ago and kind of forgot about. I knew they were coming eventually. These are some remarkable glasses. I'm gonna have to cut out all the meat coming into this. Paper, all the paper. All right, here's a good one to start with. I think it's the ideal one. Oh, maybe a little smaller then. So as I said, glasses. Drinking glasses. This one represents a D8. Each of the glasses in here represents a different size die. All the classic D&D ones, for those of you who are familiar with most of the polyhedrics, this should be our D6. D6. Smaller. And I think I'm unsynced it. Yes, I am. Of course, I forgot to turn on the audio recording separately, so I apologize, especially to Angie who keeps watching these and keeps having to deal with this crap. Is this the 10 or the 12? I'm thinking- oh, I was wrong, it's the 12. Oh, here we go. Any guesses as to what this one is? If you can't guess and you know these kinds of dice, I don't want you watching my channel. I'm kidding. The D20. I think that's a 10. That's a 10. I can see the different color already. D10. And there should be two of each in it. No! Oh, well, I'm going to have to contact the Kickstarter at Screech Dragon. They give me two of the D4s, but only one of the rest when the Kickstarter should be two of each. That's the level I backed at. So I'm going to have to contact the guys over at Screech Dragon Studios and get my other bunch of glasses. The 20s I was really looking forward to having handily because my primary miniatures game, Infinity, uses d20s and a mechanic called the face-to-face -face roll, where you both have to roll off against each other, and it's not whoever gets the higher number. It's whoever gets closer to the target number without going over. If you're not familiar with that mechanic, I will include links in the description below to uh, the Infinity tutorial videos on their website. You should give them a look, because I like the interactivity of the game, much like Magic the Gathering. It's always a case of you can go if you have the resources. So, short video today. I thank you all for joining me, and I will talk to you tomorrow.